Hello, everyone, and welcome to a very special edition, fifth Wednesday of the month, yep. special edition bonus, bonus, a major announcement about this podcast. What is it? Okay. Stay Hang tight for 30 seconds tuned. to find out. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Group Neo Marketing Podcast, a bi weekly discussion of best practices, latest trends, and modern techniques for professional business communication, including advertising, marketing, digital channels, social media, public relations, and alternative options. Good morning, Pritch. How are you today? I'm doing great, Kyle. How about yourself? Fantastic. I'm fired up. This is exciting. Yeah. Yes, we it is. We have big news for the people. Yes, it is. This is exciting and big news. So, you know, we started this podcast in August of 2017. Wow. Yes, August 25th, 2017. Wow. And on the third episode, which was right. in September, September 7th, 2017, we explained what Neil marketing means. Right. Now, today, we're here to tell you that we're going to change the name of the podcast. Yeah, a lot of people don't like change, but we're going to embrace it. We're going it. to embrace it. It's 2022. Absolutely. The world is a very different place now. So Five years on. I'm going to explain where Neil Marketing came from and the reasons we think that we need to change yep. it on this bonus episode. And then next week, the first Wednesday of the month, like every other month, we'll have a brand new full episode completely detailing the new name, the the concept behind it, and what people can expect from this podcast, which the content really isn't going to change. Right. It's just right. a little bit of our marketing, our description of what it is. Well, and ironically, it, marketing is one of those words yeah. that we kind of got hung up on. Right, exactly. So I regress. Let's start right at the beginning, Okay. the, the prefix neo. Right. Now, I think you understand. You're a, you're a very educated man. You're a scholarly gentleman, right? You understand the concept of utilizing the phrase neo in yes. front of another word like neo-capitalism or neo-classicalism or neo-romanticism, etc. Typically a modifier for a term that is a reinvention or an update on a classic train of thought. Right. It's used a lot in literature and architecture and things of that nature to kind of describe something that's heavily influenced by something that is previous, but a different take on it. Right. And that was our intent. Updated, new. Yes, updated and new. And that's always been our intent on this podcast uh, is to have a updated and new, a very modern, like contemporary today. Right. Here's how it happens today. And that's that's been the history of our discussions. That's too. right. That's been our intent to have our take on marketing is very up to the up to date. After people ask me all the time, like, hey, when are you guys are going to write a book? I'm like, well, you know, my, <laughs> our marketing book is a classic traditional marketing <laughs> textbook almost. Like we're very by the book in our approach. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. We just have... We make an adaptation to what's happening exactly. in the moment in, in 2021, 2022, 2017 when we started this podcast. Right. So that's part of it for sure. But also just some, our dedication to the process and how it really works. And I think more than anything else, the full extent, the way that we see the marketing process. Right. As opposed to um, some radical uh, idea of don't set goals or make it up as you go or things that right. are very – untraditional in a marketing approach. Like so, see that, your pants. That's right. So that's the it. term Neo, right? Right. Not Neo from the Matrix. <laughs> or my or my oldest male puppy, oh, Neo. Hey Neo, that's a yeah, cool name for, for a, that's a good name for He a is like the one. The, the one. The one. <laughs> Neo is the one. But a new take on a traditional thought process, yeah. which is always what we've done. Now the word marketing is actually the problem. Yeah. Believe has, it or has, not, has been really from the beginning. But. It really is. It's it's a it's a word that a lot of people get confused, and mm -hmm. a lot of people use incorrectly. And right. a lot of people, when you say the word marketing, what pops into their head is not what we intended for. Right. It. Exactly. So right off the bat, marketing is often confused with advertising. Absolutely. The probably the most common misconception is if you were to say we work in marketing or we're marketing consultants or we're a business that's focused on yep. marketing, 
what people picture is advertising. It's selling products. Right, exactly. Right. The outward expression. But marketing is the work before that work. Right. Marketing is the understanding of who you are, what your, your value proposition is, what your position in the industry is, who your comp- competition is, who your consumer, your audience is, right. and how you compete. It's understanding all of that, yeah. knowing before you talk. Right. Talking right. is advertising. <laughs> is the, the, the actual execution of a marketing plan is advertising. It's public relations. It's mass communications. It's, it's sometimes it's internal. Sometimes it's external. It's also customer service, et cetera. So marketing and advertising are two different things. Right. Right? Right. And they are often confused for each other. Well, in marketing, I'll tell you that they subsumed advertising. Advertising says we own marketing. Yes, it's it's at exactly. standard, you know, chicken or egg, I guess. Now, you and I prefer <laughs> to spend our time on the backside, on the planning, on the research and analysis, on the strategy, on developing a plan and a system that's going to be highly effective way before you get sort of into the weeds right. of tactical execution or yeah. advertising. As I as I, I hate the word, but it's apt. It's we're proactive on this podcast and not reactive. Yes. And try we, to try to be. And our focus in our professional lives is on the planning and the and the previous side, the knowing before you before you yeah. speak and understanding who you are before you go to market. Right. So, it's it's disappointing and Uneffective for us for people to misconstrue when we say marketing, the Neo Marketing Podcast, as advertising. Right. Well, we talk a little bit about advertising, but that's not the thrust. No, absolutely not. It's not the not. thrust of our practice either. Right. Now, people often confuse marketing with sales. Absolutely. And in fact, I can't tell you in my 35, 36, now was a 37 year career of having a job of some sort <laughs> since I was a teenager. You know, first started my first business as a teenager, but along the way, I applied for many jobs, taken many jobs. And I can't tell you how many times I read an ad. This is back when you read ads in the paper right. Right, before pre internet for a marketing job. And then you showed up and they handed you your sales kit and told you to go door to door and sell these knives or phone books or vacuum cleaners or whatever it was, right. which is absolutely not marketing. Right. No. And that's not what you were applying for. <laughs> yes, this is true. So marketing, also the term business development is another term that really people misconstrue. Uh, but marketing and business development is also often confused for sales because the thought process is why are you going through the marketing process if you aren't ultimately ending up with sales? Right. And that's true. They're in the same ecosphere of activity, but one is at the beginning and one is at the very end. And there are things in the middle, advertising and communication, Mm -hmm. that need to happen otherwise. I'm fighting off a a, a sneeze. The Oklahoma Spring is getting me. If Uh, I sneeze today, I I apologize. Pollen pollen alert today. So marketing is not sales. Right. Business development is not sales. Sales is its own activity. Yep. Marketing, understanding, creating a plan, creating a system, advertising and public relations communications takes that message to the audience, to the world. It attracts attention, makes it attractive. Then there's conversion process. The person says, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy the product. I'm going to pay for the service, whatever it is. Now you get into a sales situation where a person or a website or a system actually transacts or sells the product or service to the individual. This is way after the work that we do. Right. And the way, way after what we talk about. And neither one of us, we talk, sales always comes into our conversations here on the podcast because we're tracking attention and we're trying to get to a conversion process. That's how you make your money. It's how you be profitable. We talk about profitability on this podcast a lot right. as well, right? Right. But the actual sales process, I, I'm not a, I don't do sales well. No. Not a great sales. There are a ton of people in the world and a, gr- a lot of great podcasts that can instruct salespeople on how to sell. Yep, it's absolutely. not what we do. Not We're more what we holistic do than that. That's right. So ultimately, marketing, the way the public sort of sees it, whether it's they have a, a little bit of an understanding of what marketing is or they're confused with, with advertising or sales, is still only a small aspect of what you and I do in the practice at the Golden Group on a regular basis. Yep. Thus, that's what we talk about only in a small mar- part in this, and it's a confusing term. Right. So, and also, strategy and the areas that we focus on, setting goals and objectives, creating strategy, positioning, all of those things, that work happens before advertising and sales. And so we want to 
continue to focus this podcast more on that side of the equation and less on the execution side of the equation. Just to be clear right. and be focused for our audience. <laughs> right. So, and also, and this is this is my opinion. Some people will maybe you maybe you <laughs> agree, maybe you don't. You don't want. I'll find Prince out. Does not know what's about to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Strategy, the strategic planning process is more important than what people think of as marketing, which is advertising and sales. I agree. Absolutely. Yeah, because it comes from it. it takes in so many other factors yes. than just sales. And it excludes factors that would be less effective. Mar- marketing and advertising exclude yes. factors. That's right. Right. That's right. They, and and they're, they, they're just now starting to talk about relationships, but that is key to what we've talked about absolutely. on this for a long time. Yes, yeah, so repeatable business, and yeah. et cetera. Yes, yeah, so the strategic process, which is where we focus our professional lives, is more important, and it comes first. Yes. If you do that correctly – the rest of your marketing, your advertising, your sales process, your conversion, even the, the two-way conversation, right? The feedback that comes back in so that you can do it again better every right. time. Right. That entire process works much more effectively if you've done the strategic planning process yep. correct, if you understand the strategy. And and here's the here's the other kicker is that that strategic planning process depends on research Starts with research. And how long have we talked about all research the time. all we the time? Keep focusing on it. Big R. And we keep getting feedback from you about the value that you understand of research. There's a lot of intimidation. A lot of people don't know how to do it. Right. A lot of people have a little bit of misconception about research, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. But we're happy to talk about what research is and how to use it because yeah. that's areas of focus we have on a regular basis. Absolutely. Yes. That's the foundation upon which the st- strategy is based. That's right. So being strategic. Yep creates smart success. Yes, I agree 100%. I'm going to be saying that a lot on this podcast. Being strategic creates smart success because it keeps you highly focused on the things most likely to work with the audience that you need to be talking to for all the right reasons before you get into the tactics, the weeds, if you will, yeah. of how to, how to execute on the advertising and sell I, side. Now, in all honesty, tactics are the fun stuff. That's where most people want to go sure. immediately. And it's easy to demonstrate. It is easy to demonstrate, you know, what you're talking about. That's and, right. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's the end of the long process, or not a long process, but uh, uh, an instructive, a strategic process. I'll use that word. Yes, there you go. So strate- being strategic is creating smart success. That is the point of this podcast. Smart. Smart. Success. success. Right. Yeah. yeah. You do that by being strategic. We're going to focus on strategy. So we're going to take the confusing Neo. Right. And the confusing marketing, we're going to put them to the side. We're going to replace them with something that makes more sense with what we do and is more important in this process and comes first, which is strategy, which is strategic thinking. And I'll explain the second half. That's the first half of the name, then new names. The second half I'll explain in a minute. The new name of this podcast moving forward will be the Strategic Growth Podcast. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Strategy, strategic thinking, yep. strategic planning is what we just discussed, why yep. it's more important and more impactful than marketing. Now let's talk about the word growth. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great word, growth, right? Right. It is a great word. <laughs> it's a great it, word, it, growth. It applies in so many t- parts of our life. That's right. Look right here. Strategic growth partners <laughs> right in our name. Strategic. We talked about the value Gee, of that. Had we growth. missed that. That right? <laughs> With the beautiful, the beautiful golden wheat that is growing out of the fields here in Oklahoma. We yes. see it on a regular basis. The spring is coming. Spring is coming. It's a time coming. for growth. Right. Growth is good. Yes. Growth is moving you forward in a great way. Growth happens from the center out. Right. The growth moves out. Growth moves you up. Growth moves you in the right direction. If you're not growing, what's happening? You're 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 right regressing. Regressing. Absolutely. At the very least, being stagnant. Stagnant. Right. What is stagnant yep. water? Right. It's bad water. It's a swamp. That's right. Exactly. It's stinky. (laughs) Yeah. It rots. Right. Things that are stagnant rot. Now, growth growth can happen kind of organically, and that's like when we intake too many calories and our tummy grows. 
that's organic. You can grow in the wrong way. Absolutely. That's right. But what we're talking about is growth in the right way. Managed, growth based on strategy. Smart, managed, smart, strategic growth. Absolutely. Yes. Smart growth. So when you are building upon what you've done in the past, that is growth. When you are moving in the right direction, you're not falling backwards, you're not being stagnant, you are growing. When we decided to do the Golden Group, Back in 2011, I sat down with Felicity and Sean, and we started talking about all kinds of things we wanted to do in the world, right? right. There, When I was trying to decide the cut line, strategic growth partners, I went through and every concept, and I used the highlighters, I did the thing, I broke it all down, I <laughs> diagrammed my sentences, I did the whole thing, right? right. I kept coming back to a common theme. Yeah. That common theme was growth. Growth. Growing businesses, growing organizations, growing systems. But not willy-nilly, growing strategically. Strategically, yes. Smart strategic growth, repeatable growth, sustainable growth. So, thus, Strategic Growth Partners has been the cut line of this of the Golden Group for their consulting firm since, the, since day one. Right. So it is now going to be the name on the podcast of the Strategic Growth. Growth podcast. Now, so, some of our listeners and, and viewers might say, well, pff, duh, why didn't you do that back in 2017? That's a great question. But it, it's been an evolution. This is the point, though. In business, you can change. Absolutely. You need to change. You need to you change. You should change. Yep. We're following that example. Absolutely. I fell in love. Modeling good behavior. I fell in love with the concept of neo and marketing, of a new way of taking on a traditional. Right. Because I do still. Because we, we didn't in any way, shape, or form want to be marketing or advertising. No. True. And in fact, I, all the time I tell people that when Felicity and I and Sean and I formed the Golden Group before before Pritch came on board with this. The first thing I told him was because my background was marketing and advertising. I right. worked corporate marketing and I'd, I'd owned my own business for for years and years. And I was creative. I was in the music business and then I got into graphic design and into into art direction and was on the creative side of marketing teams and marketing departments right. in corporate marketing. Right? right. Every corporation has a marketing department. Right. And I was in a lot of those. And I had a lot of relationships and connections in those industries. And I told Felicity and Sean at the time, I don't want to start another ad agency. Right. There's hundreds of them, thousands right. of them out there, hundreds in the Oklahoma City area. They're already well established. We'll be competing with them. And I'm not a fan of the advertising agency model. Right. That how they make their money. And we won't right. go into detail now. But it's as a, a whole client, different podcast. <laughs> it is a whole different client. But as a client, I yeah. never enjoyed being kind of subjected to their business model. And right. so I wanted to do something new, right. something different. And of course, Felicity's background is is emerging technology and she's a lawyer before that. Right. And Sean is a systems big corporate systems builder guy. So they were distinctly not marketing. Right. But I was. Yeah. And so I was trying to kind of straddle that line of building upon my reputation in the marketing industry and my relationships without competing with them. Right. So I was trying to have bet the best of both worlds. And when you brought me on, then, one of the first conversations we had is, is this another advertising or PR or marketing right. agency? Because exactly. that's not what I was looking for. Neither one of us wanted that. Right. So now, when I talk to people, what's happened is I've talked to a lot of our clients, some of our best clients, and a lot of people we do business with, and a lot of people in the industry, and I say, does everything we do, all of our market, you have to, you have to check yourself, right? You need <laughs> right. to review your processes and say, hey, w as a client who knows what we do, are we doing a good, good job of explaining that to the public? And a couple of key people, in particular, Kit Letcher from the president of the BBB, you know, Kit, very, very yep. bright individual, right. she said to me, We've worked together for years. We've hired you for many things. It's never been marketing because right. she has a whole marketing department. Right. And she was right. It got me thinking about the fact that people misunderstand the term marketing. They misunderstand the term business development. I needed to find a new way to explain what it is we do. And, of course, this podcast is very much an extension of what we do on a regular basis. And right. So it needed to reflect that. Thus the name change. And you can't be afraid of change. No, not at all. Just because I, I, I kind of admit I fell in love with the name Neo Marketing. I thought I'd really come up with something cute. <laughs> right. I really thought people were right. going to, like, they were going to go, man, that's, br that's really that's, smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people did, some people didn't. That's right. okay. It's it served us for a while, but now we're going to move on into well, something else. And it, and it became an overused, almost cliche term yes. at, at one point in time here recently. It has. It has very much been polluted and diluted. Yeah. 
and which is why we started the conversation with people misunderstand. Right. And so with that in mind, and you'll see a lot of, for those of you who follow our, our social media and our website, you're going to see a lot of changes. Um, just a, a 2022 t- to 2032 version of the Golden Group. Right. It's our 10th year. We've been around. So we started at the end of 2011. So we started our, our 10th year uh, right before the, the, the new year. Right. And so the next 10 years is going to be something different. It's the evolution of what we do. So it's the evolution of this podcast. Absolutely. There you go. And we're not set on that timeline, but that's a good timeline to have. We'll see. That's we'll see what horizon. happens. Right. You know, you're kind of constant, as you said before. You got to constantly be evaluating. Yes, business success is the management of change. <laughs> Absolutely, That's what we're doing now, we're managing change and doing something that more reflects how we want to move forward yep. in 2022 yep. and three and five and 28 and. 2032 and 2050. Who knows what that looks like? Shoo. I hope I'm still <laughs> around. Well, I, I, I think it'll be fantastic. So that's the new name for the podcast. That's the announcement today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to hear this bonus episode last Wednesday, the fifth Wednesday of the month. It doesn't happen very often. Right. Next week, we'll have a brand new episode, brand new name, Brand new, hopefully I can get it edited in time, a brand new uh, <laughs> uh, theme song in the whole night. If not, at the very least, we will have a new name for the podcast. But same great content. It's still Pritchett and I having conversations. But we're also going to add a few more key elements this year. Yeah. This is the second half of the announcement. I can't uh-huh. believe I almost forgot this. <laughs> All, right. All right. On the advice, Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary V, everyone's favorite right. podcast and social media fella. I am going to be doing a lot more CEO interviews in 2022 and 23. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, an extension of what I do for the Oklahoma Venture Forum podcast and some of the other podcasts that we host here in the studio for clients of ours. I'm going to be doing more one-on-one conversations with CEOs so that we can glean from them their insight, their information. They're going to have different insights and thought processes than you and I. Right. So we're going to bring that to the conversation as well. Yeah, good. And hopefully we'll... We'll do a little breakdown on what they're saying and yes. some interpretation. Yes, for sure. We'll follow up those conversations. And then the next piece, this is going to be very interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to work out yet. I'm not sure how often I get to do this, but this was something else that was mentioned by a, a good client of ours, and I want to incorporate this into the show, is the ability to sit down with a business owner, someone who's trying to create a startup, someone who's who has a business problem, a specific business problem, not how do I start up, right? but I need this to happen or I need to figure out this situation before I can move my business Here, forward. Here's where I'm at. That's right. What next? We're going to diagnose yeah. business problems live right here on the podcast. <laughs> We're going to f- no identify pressure. them. We're going to break them down. We're going to give suggestions, yeah. have conversations with, with that person or their team. Again, I don't know how that's going to work out because right. I want to be flexible in that approach, um, looking for people who are willing to share their issues with us right. and be willing to have these conversations uh, shared with the public. Right. So I'm not sure how often that's going kind to happen, of. but I'd like to see to make some of that happen as well. I love having conversations with people trying to build a business. Yeah. Everyone has problems. Yeah. Everyone has weaknesses or areas they are just not – really solid in. Right. And so or, maybe or we can opportunities they don't know how to see. Yeah, exactly. So maybe we could supplement that and provide some help for the yeah. business community. Yeah. Kind of a mini round table. Could be, right. Exactly. Yeah. So that's a that is something I want to add to this podcast this year. We're definitely going to add some more CEO interviews, some more some more decision maker Good. interviews. Good. And then the the continual content between <laughs> Pritch and I, those conversations, sometimes we agree, sometimes we disagree, right. sometimes we challenge each other, sometimes Pritch calls bullshit on me. It's <laughs> okay. You it happens. Do the opposite. Say, yeah. Sometimes we, we reference same, we reference books and blogs right. and other podcasts as well. Right. We're going to keep doing that in 2022. So we appreciate you guys tuning in every two weeks on the podcast we will see you next week with a new episode with a new name until then good luck ciao